Welcome back to Ingrid Plays Game of Thrones. So I just offered to give the castle food to the villagers. So hopefully um, that calms things down for a little while. But now um, I'm just wandering. Ooh, I'm getting sick too. Where's this loot? Potions merchant. Flammable oil, wildfire. Stairs. Ah, here we go. Shit! The captain of the guard! Not a step further, or we will kill all of these lords. Bastards! They're going after the burial guests. How do you want to proceed, Alistair? Hmm. So, decision time. No negotiating! I'll try to calm them down. I'll go for the calm approach. People of Riverspring, I am Alistair Sarwick. Why are you attacking these innocent people? We've been dying of hunger for years, while these lords and ladies with their jewels just strut around us like peacocks. Start by letting these people go. Nothing can be resolved while you still threaten them. Free them? You must be joking. The port merchants are all penniless. We ask only for enough to buy new wares and reopen our stores. Um. Our lands are sick and the castle is low on coin. But these lords here are under my protection, and Riverspring will pay for their release. Ryman, hand them your purse. Eliana will repay you at the castle. You have some guts. I'll make sure you repay me. Here, beggars. Now get out of my sight. Thank you, Lord Alistair. You acted like a true lord. Your talents as a diplomat are equal to your father's, Alistair. Your compliment warms my heart, Garrison. You should take advantage of this calm to go home. The situation here should return to normal soon. You're right. You acted admirably, my lord. What were you doing, fairy man? The lords wanted me to help happy, them leave the town, kind of it but seems these like. brutes attacked us before I could cast off the moorings. It's a good thing you arrived when you did. I didn't think I'd make it. Let me know if I can return the favor one day. My Lord Sarwick, Tyric, the leader of the revolt, has turned up at the castle doors. He will only negotiate with you. The traitor finally shows his face. It's time to put a stop to this madness. Let us listen to what if he has to say. If the people followed him, then this man earned their respect. He deserves to be listened to. God, tell him I'm on my way. Very well, my lord. I'm all about the people. Gotta listen to everybody. Go to the castle castle entrance to negotiate with Tyrek, the instigator of this uprising. Alright, so back to the castle it is. Oh. 
run, run, run. Open the gate. I'm returning to the castle. Very well. The man who everyone is talking about? The famous Alistair Sarwick? We already spoke in the key. You pretended you were just a foreigner, but now that you're with your guards, you finally show your true face. This morning I was only a stranger, but the situation has changed and I have to act. You are the man who started the rioting which led to a full revolt. You know nothing of our problems! Your family sits warm in your castle while we die of hunger in the streets! He proved that he is on our side today, Tyrek. He preferred to use Riverspring's coin to appease his wealthy allies on the wall. But he was generous in his judgment, and he was able to stop the slaughter in the marketplace. I've made decisions which may seem unjust to you, but they were for the good of Riverspring. Our town is where it is today because ties with the lords of the Westerlands have been cut. To bring our lands back to health, we must gain the trust and support of the lords. Unfortunately, your efforts seem to be in vain, Alistair. May the lords of the Westerlands rest easy. From now on, I will do everything in my power to restore Riverspring to its former glory. You disgust me. You reveal yourself for what you are. Despite your actions during the rioting, you defend the privileges of the Lords. Nothing changes. The people will continue to die of hunger by the Lords' feast. During the rioting, the people of Riverspring did not die of hunger. They died by the sword, Tyrek. Do you not take any blame for having brought about these massacres? Riverspring has suffered heavy losses on both sides, the people and the guards alike. The Guard will fight to the end for the survival of Riverspring, but your decisions did not help us at all. You're so interested in gaining the people's love that you'll lead the town to ruin. You can't rule the town with weak actions. The people no longer support you, Tyrek. Your cause means nothing now. He's right, Tyrek. The rioting was foolery. Many of our people died today. Leave it be. Enough bloodshed, Tyrek. Accept your defeat. Accept your situation. You have no support anymore. You may have calmed them with your pretty speeches, but I know that it won't change, and we'll just keep dying! I will rebuild Riverspring again if it costs me my life. I will allow him to live. And you will hear it all from the dungeons. Guards, take him away. You succeeded, Lord Alistair. These riots very nearly destroyed River Spring. How? Oh, you address me as Lord now? Although you do not officially hold the title of Lord, you have shown that you have the soul of one. From this point forth, I shall address you as such. Look at that! I shall try to be worthy of your trust. The town may be appeased, but I could not please everyone. It is difficult to lead. Your choices will always leave someone unhappy. The important thing is that you made decisions where others would simply let the situation deteriorate. The decisions you made today brought peace back to River Spring. That is all that matters. He is right, Alistair. I never thought I would say this, but River Spring needs a man yeah. like you. It would oh, be a yeah. shame for you to leave now. Thank you, Look at this. Rest assured, I do not intend to leave. Not anymore. Good to hear. Now that this matter has been taken care of, I would like to carry on our discussion regarding my brother, Garl. Not here, Alistair. It has been a particularly delicate matter since the death of Lord Reynold. Find me at the castle. Understood. Harwin promises to give you information concerning your brother Gowan's disappearance. Meet him inside Riverspring Castle. Uh, hello? A gold dragon is worth 210 silver stags, while a silver stag is worth 16 copper groats. Did you know that? I know it now. All 
right, all right. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. I like how I can just like watch a little mini movie during this game. Yeah. It is important that I speak with you. She seems what is it? I am sorry for the cold welcome during the burial. I lied to myself by saying that you no longer meant anything to me. When Harwin informed me that you were helping Ryman handle the rioting, I was afraid something would happen to you. I would never have forgiven myself. Do not worry, sister. I have returned. Are you planning to remain at River Spring? I intend to take control of our lands. I will restore River Spring to its former glory. How do you intend to do that? I have decided to seek an audience with the Queen of the Red Keep in order to reclaim my titles and inheritance. You do not have to do that, Alistair. You know, I have reached an agreement with the Queen. If I wed Valar, the Crown will once again recognize the sovereignty of a Lord at Riverspring, and will agree to help us. Yes, Harwin spoke of it to me, and it only reinforces my determination. Don't be a fool, Alistair. If the Queen were to take insult from your approach, we could lose everything. I know that, but this marriage would mean the end of Riverspring. You do not know the true nature of Valar. I am well aware of that vulture's reputation. He and I have nothing in common. But unfortunately, he is close to the Queen. House Lannister is the richest house in Westeros, and one of the most powerful. With a faithful vassal such as Valar, they will surely help us. I see your point of view, sister, but I will not allow Valar to share a future with House Sarwick. I spoke to Harwin, and he told me that Father had banished him, and rightly so. I would not have you make such a sacrifice to keep Riverspring in the family. I am sorry, but I cannot share your optimism, brother. I hope your words will move the Queen. I bid you take leave and speak with Harwin now. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. See you guys later. Hopefully I get to talk to Maester Harwin about this marriage. Bye!